What's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video, it's your boy, I was a NATO. So today I'm going to be showing you, I posted something recently and people have been freaking out about it. I got the tutorial from TikTok, this particular uh, video. I mean, it looks amazing and all, but the thing is, it's it's as simple as ABC. Like it's the simplest thing I've ever done. I did it in less than um, less than probably ten minutes, right? So I'm going to break it out to you how you can also do yours, right? So first thing first, you need a video of yourself. So I'm going to show you what that kind of video looks like. That's my camera roll, right? Um, no, not this one. All right. So first and first, you need to set up your tripod, right? Set up a tripod facing you. It can be in any position, any place whatsoever. So I shot this um, video um, in my little cubicle here, in my little office here. So just watch. So when you set up a camera, you just come to the, like just face the camera, do whatever it is you want to do. And after doing whatever it is you want to do, just find a point where you jump very, very high. Now, don't jump too high that your head hits the fan, but look at, you can see that I jumped very high. But I know that, I mean, I'm not that tall, so my head cannot touch the fan. If possible, you can do it outside or wherever it is you want to do it, right? So just make sure that you jump high. So you will notice that I did like two take, just to be sure which one to work with, right? Um, and I had to be careful with the way I was jumping because the headset is not, I didn't strap it well. Well, just to... Um, with retreat right make sure you set up a tripod and your phone then face the camera do whatever it is you want to do then jump up so all you need to do is just jump up and down i would also advise that when you are jumping make sure that your body is within the frame as you can see my body and every part of my body was within the frame you can see my hand was within the frame and the reason why this is important you'll get to see later so when you do that save your video and bring it into um bring it into what's it called cap cuts so when you open cap cuts right i'm going to just open cap cuts here so you create a new project um when you create a new project just drag in your video so let's look for the video um the video is on that camera roll so this is our video i'm going to just drag it into cap cuts now when you bring it into cap cut just drag it into um this space now, because I shot it using like my my iPhone, but the HDR version. Well, for some reason, again, don't disturb yourself. Just shoot the video, bring it into CapCut. Now, when you bring it into CapCut, scroll. You can trim out some parts that you do not want, like for example, all these beginning parts. Now, I want to scroll to the point where I jumped, right? That point where I jumped. Let me. Um, so just throw to that point. Now, this particular point. No, no. Yeah, this exact point. So when you just scroll to the points where you e jumped exactly. Now, I don't know if Fimora can do this, but Carcot is like what I use. That, that's the tutorial I watched from um, Frost King. Frost King on TikTok. Shout out to Frost King. He's one that like created this tutorial. I saw what he did and it was mind blowing. And I was like, I had to do the same thing. So make sure you have this. Um, when you have this particular frame, now come to CapCut and choose um, this. Go to this um, hamburger menu, right? This hamburger menu, you will see color um, oscilloscope. But what you're interested in is export still, um, still frame. Now click on still frame. Now, just save it as um, jump, right? Just save it as jump and export it to your desktop, right? Now, when you export it, make sure you do not tamper with your cap code. Just leave it as it is. Now, close. don't close it. Just minimize it, right? Go to your desktop. You can see this is your export. It's an image, right? This is your export. It's an image. Now, the next thing you want to do is just come to a site called xfield.ai this is the site it's called xfield.ai now i must give a side note that 
the past cloud um the past cloud tool you want to use this past cloud site is not free all right uh, monthly subscription is nine dollars i think yeah nine dollars so if you want to use this um effects you would have to i mean if you consider it at the end of the day it's not compared to the feeling you would get from creating motion motion effects right nine dollars is something you can easily you know add to it especially with the fact that it's in months and you you would have tried out several other stuff and if it doesn't work for you you can just um you know stop subscription but yeah this is where we are going to i'm going to drop this link in the comment section xview.ai now what you're looking for is called bullet time this is it bullet time you can see there are different effects right different effects but what we are looking for is bullet time so click on bullet time now first of all you need to sign up so sign up as usual i already signed up click on bullet time when you click on bullet time you you can see this is bullet time you can see how it looks like so all these are single image single images that were um, uploaded and it's converted the image into this uh you know matrix right the matrix movie right that slow motion vibe that neo did when she jumped up and she just turned yeah exactly that's the exact um stuff we're working with right so let's press generate so when you click on generate again you have to be subscribed now i did something like this i'm still going to share it on my social media but this is the design i made you remember these two designs now watch what i did with it let me play it you can see like, it looks amazing <laughs> anyways so what you want to do is click on this part upload your image you can drag it in but just look for your image this is our image right so when you click on your image the next thing you want to then do is allow it to upload now after it has uploaded just scroll down your uc standard and you'll see that this is five seconds right just press generate again you have to be subscribed to use this particular um to use this particular um what's it called effect now when you press generate it's going to take a bit of seconds or probably a minute two minutes to generate and when you just give it a few minutes or a few seconds what you generate is this particular video here now you can see this is what it's going to convert to right this is exactly what it's going to convert to so in few minutes you will to have a few seconds you will be able to have this particular effect now i don't want to generate it because i already did that here right and because it works with um when you subscribe it gives you 150 credits and i've used about 40 already right so you can see i just have 110 left and i intend to use all the credit judiciously so yeah let's go back so um i won't be doing that but just upload your image here subscribe then generate right i think it has a test version but you won't be able to like do the bullet time so if you want to do that exact um effect that you see me do right you can just pay the subscription and just um generate right um yeah you are going to get something like this and you know it's just going to be your image but it's the what what it does is the ai generates the environment such that it makes you float while creating an alternate environment right as you can see this is not in my office all this um paper on the wall this table this um you know chair and all they, they are not in my room but it's created them right so yeah when you generate it then you can download it right when you download it you, you'll find it on your um downloads um what's it called folder right <clears throat> Now, this is on your download folder. Now, what you want to do is you drag it into CapCut. That particular position, just first bring it into here. Now, that particular position, right, you place it there. Now, you can cl just close this like this. Now, what you then do is if you play it back, you'll see that as you jump, it's, you know, it merges into that video that you have created. Very, very simple and straightforward. So, what I did was because CapCut has limited effects like i don't use CapCut for my designs for my video designs but what i did was i exported this as um as an mp4 then i took it to femora so femora has quite a number of like effects that you can use like um fire effects filters lut all those kind of effects so all those added effects that you saw the music the the lightning and everything 
all those were done on Fingora, right? So yeah, that's just a very, very simple tutorial on how to do what I dig. Simple and straightforward. Again, this is not free, right? But you can try it out. I'm not sure if there's a free version. I tested it above. It was, it was, ask, it was asking me to like subscribe. So yeah, this is it, guys. Very, very simple. Very, very clean. Um, AI is here to like stay. Imagine I, I would never have thought that I could create such a shot. Now, imagine if I was actually having a green background um, behind me and, you know, it renders this particular setup in a green background. Then I remove the green screen and I place myself in a very, very cinematic um, environment. That would be very, very dope, right? And I make sure that while I would jump in, you would notice my leg was showing, right? My leg was showing and also my hands and everything was showing. That way, the AI automatically keeps my my the body parts, right? Because if your hand and your leg do not show, it will generate it. And you might not like what it generates. So just make sure that when you are jumping, you are jumping in the frame of your camera, right? That way you'll be able to like retain everything about yourself. You can see just like we have it here, even my shirt is the same, right? Even everything about me is the same, right? Every single thing about me. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope you've learned something today. And um, I hope this is something that you're going to be testing out, um, regardless of like the subscription fee. Anyways, um, let me know what you think. Um, I might be I might be giving someone or two persons um, opportunity to help them generate their posts. So if if you are able to take your shots and you they, and you like create your frame as I have mentioned here, and probably you don't want to pay for the subscription, um, the first two persons to send me their image on my Instagram. I would help you generate the video and send it back to you. The first two person, just the first two person when you see this video. Anyways, that's basically it, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you share, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know your thoughts. And I'm going to see you next time. Cheers.